make the perfect Mexican contrast no. every time. No, 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 no. No. That's a lot of cocoa on the floor. Nearly all week, my girlfriend has been telling me how, and forgive my French, conchas sounds really good. And it didn't really hit me until today that her saying that those sound good is her way of asking me to make them, I think. Women are confusing. So whether or not she wants them, I'm making them. Sometimes you just gotta act and not think, okay? Stream of consciousness. <laughs> I've been waiting to use that joke since last week when she started telling me I should make them in her weird, weird ways. Here we go. Brandon, we're going to start by setting your oven to the lowest setting. Set my oven to the lowest setting? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's about as cold as it gets. I have warm and then it just skyrockets right up to 200 degrees. We're going to add one tablespoon of the three-fourths cups of sugar. One tablespoon of a three-fourths cup of sugar? So three teaspoons of a four pound bag. You'll see that fan over there, right? Don't, 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 don't look. I took care of the situation. Three teaspoons is one tablespoon. That I do know for sure. Do what now? Along with the one tablespoon of yeast. You know how hard it is to find yeast? I went to six different stores to find yeast. Yeah, six. Because they sell at Walmart, but make sure that it is the blue packet. <laughs> And they don't sell it at Walmart. Don't lie to the people. But you're going to have to knead it for a good 20 minutes and make sure that it is a good knead. I have needs. My four cups of flour. Four cups of flour out of what? 16 quarts of a gallon? How many was that? Oh Lord, carry on my wayward meal. Wait, you're sifting your sugar too? And our cinnamon. Oh my gosh, it's growing. I think it was that amount of sugar. This is happening, Claudia. Currently, I don't have time for your shenanigans. What do? We're going to cut our butter. We don't have time for that. Pieces like that. Claudia! I don't think you realize what's happening on my end, Claudia. Just make sure that your butter, it is at room temperature, okay? It sat in the car at 100 degrees because I went to six different stores to find the yeast, which is currently overflowing because of you, Claudia. All right, so after five minutes, your yeast should look something like this. <laughs> It looks a little something like that. To put it in, If it does not look like this, then don't move on to the next step, okay? Otherwise, your bread is not going. What if it looks past what yours looks like? Do I go back to the previous step? It is a room temperature, okay? Okay. Our vanilla and our yeast. Not all of that's gonna fit in this bulk. Oh, yeah. Am I gonna have to mix this in a... Mm -hmm. I don't know, where am I going? I'm, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go. You finish up here. I'm leaving. Closet. Need a bigger bowl. Mm -hmm. Claudia, you did not tell me this was time sensitive. Slower, maybe? And if you're kneading, make sure that you're kneading for 20 minutes. Right? I'm needing you to tell me if you put the yeast in yet. I have to stand here for 10 minutes? We ain't gonna make it that long, Claudia. Talk to me, Claudia. Or if you're kneading at 10 minutes. What? <laughs> We're going to turn off the oven. Huh? We're turning off that we just turned it on. So it's sticky, but it comes off pretty easy. So now we are ready to transfer it into our bowl. And of course, just make sure that your hands are clean. All right, uh, so now I'm just going to cover it. You can uh, Mine's not making a ball. It looks like an old man's wrinkly bald head. Well, we wait for our dough to rise, we're going to- You're gonna have to wait for me to get the dough in first for us to wait to get the dough to rise. You're gonna do great. The oven's off, don't worry. I'm as confused as you are. So on the bowl, I'm going to make my powdered sugar. Make sure you sift it. Okay. Make sure that it is at room temperature. Everything is at room temperature, Claudia, even the oven. And of course, just make sure that your hands are nice and clean. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. So just dissolve the butter with the powdered sugar. I think it's the heat from my hands and the stress that's melting the butter. All right, so once your topping looks like this. Mm, give me a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to form a rectangle. Mine's breaking up. I just think we need to work on our communication. I'm going to Did you just smack it? One teaspoon of hard cheese cocoa. Give me a second. Oh, yeah. Going to sift it. Sift what? Oh, the cocoa powder? Hold on. How much? of it. Is that why it didn't rise? Yours kind of folded onto the table. Mine plopped more than anything. To remove all the air. I don't think I, there is any. This is as dense as a mountain, Claudia. There's no air. This is Jordan Sparks and Chris Brown back in, I don't know, 2013. No air. So I'm just going to flip it over. I'm going to form a log. If this is undercooked, I'm probably going to form a log as well, Claudia, but I'm not going to announce it. I might. 
Who's there, huh? Who was that, Claudia? Who's there with you, Claudia? So me, I'm going to divide my dough into eight. Hmm? So now we're going to roll our dough into little balls. Do my hands look like they know what they're doing, Claudia? It's a toad on a bar stool. Don't ask me why he's there. This is what I got. They're making me a little self-conscious. We're going to grab our extra butter and massage our little balls. On camera? <laughs> you want me to just cover it in butter or massage it? That's two different prices, okay. You can always use the palm of your hands and you know like the same way that you make a tortilla is the same way that we're going. I wish you could see me through your computer screen, Claudia. Grab extra butter, rub it in your hands and we're going to be rolling our topping just to create a little ball. And you just work it like that. How many balls is it supposed to make? We're going to grab our concha cutter and start um, designing our conchas. Mine cracked organically, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Well, now we're just going to preheat our oven to 325 degrees. That sounds like something we could have done, I don't know, when you said turn the oven off. And this is what you want your bottom to look like. Mine is not that tan. Oh, these? It already smells burnt, so you're gonna do great. This one looks good. Well, let's take them to her. Bye, Claudia. Should I be worried? Worried, excited. You made me conchas, babe. Cause I had asked, babe, did, would you, would you like a concha? Exactly. Yeah. Oh my God, babe. That's really good. Oh my God.